enter the introspective introduction monologue. Here we are with, uh, what is our name? Salty McGastrocnemius. It's been a little while since we've done this playthrough. We're going to make our way up and out of eerie country today. I've liked this map, but I, I, I need to move on with my life. Uh, we're actually, I want to do some split screen multiplayer stuff with Project Zomboid. I've got some plans for the next stuff before multiplayer hits. I wanted one last big adventure, so this will be the last installment on this, I think. Unless if something comes up like a real good cliffhanger. We're going to make our way up to Dark Falls today through the rest of the county. Or rather, country. I keep saying that wrong. Darn it. Uh, we're right about here right now. We're going to make our way up through Erin City and along the road. Not probably stop at this pile of dirt. And then make our way over the bridge. We'll know we've made it when we make it to a, a covered bridge. You always know you've made it when you make it to a covered bridge. We'll make it over here to Dark Falls. Apparently there's stuff here, I'm told, by Twitch chat. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, Hunting Club might may have weaponry at it. We have weaponry. So we're going to do a lot of driving today. It's almost Thanksgiving in real life, though, so I'm feeling very festive. Uh, but I'm going to turn back on the uh, the alert box, so we might get a couple of Twitch things. In there. I've actually turned off the sound for the alert box, because I, I found it was getting a bit... Uh, de-threading, but of course, of course, any interjections are always, uh, actually, actually one of my favorite parts of streaming. Used to keep frogs in a Home Depot bucket, there are many. What does that have to do with, oh, I'm not following this chat for a second, because I've been having an introspective monologue. There's nothing like a good introspective monologue, though. You ever just find yourself, or what I've been doing a lot, I've, uh, I've been living alone a lot, so I will talk out loud to myself. I didn't realize that this was happening. When you don't have a pet, or sometimes even if you have a pet, you talk to the pet. You do that? Yeah. Sad, really. Sad, except that it helps me think. You ever do that? It's kind of obnoxious, but if you're the only one who's subjected to your own, like, insanity, it makes sense. Will PZ come out on console? I have no way of knowing that. This is like, there's a concept in Chinese philosophy, I can't remember the name of it. But it says that we should not ask questions that we are incapable of answering. Otherwise, we will torture ourselves. Otherwise known as living within your sphere of influence. Because if you live without your sphere of influence, you will be most likely miserable. You worry about things like, uh, you know, um, the weather, the election, uh, um, a dinner that someone made or didn't make. Um, uh, someone canceling their plans. You know, things like this. This is stuff that we shouldn't worry about because it's outside of our sphere of influence. Why is it a sphere? I don't know. That's a great uh, geometry, though. So, we won't question it. We won't question it at all. It'd be weirder to sit in silence all day. Yeah, but, you know, it, it's it's like a quiet, a hush enters you. Um, hmm. We are tired, but we can pretty much now just move over to the other seat and then sleep. I'm not really worried about zombs in this remote area. Shh. There, there may be zombs out here. Actually, I'll stop. Damn it. I'll stop talking so loud. Hang on a second. Oh, wait a second. We got to move back over to that seat. I am going to sleep. Why don't I just sleep in here? I mean, town is kind of close, but I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm going to sleep in my own car. Here we go. A very good sleep. A very good sleep. Wow. Did I ever, ever eat crawdads or shrimp gumbo? No, but I've had shrimp creole. It's a fine dish. Nothing like introspection in general. One must accept their faults as something needed to overcome. Yet not devaluing yourself to the point of emotional destitution. I believe that's true. Yeah, it's good to engage. I also think that, you know, uh, well, I have a lot of unpopular opinions, but we won't go into any of those. No, you don't want to hear those. They'll come up infrequently and involuntarily. Damn it. See, that was very, that eluded me, that tree. That tree eluded me. But that's always a sign that you know you're headed in the erosion direction. I've really wanted to do some philosophical shorts. I kind of thought about the way life and the way things are going. And uh, what I like about making videos and what I don't... Now with this whole new dislike button uh, uh, 
debacle. Hang on a second. Is this? Am I going the right way? Uh, I gotta get back out that map. Salty McCastrock Nemes. We're not using the official map. We're using this map because I'm a good person. Uh, okay. I think I was supposed to go the other way. Let's change. Hmm. Thoughts on the possibility of Sledge getting nerfed in uh, multiplayer? If they do nerf the Sledge, I hope that they put its other functions into another item. I did hear th about that, though, from them. Um, you see, my concern was that... Um, you see, I don't believe in private property. Alright. Just putting that out there. I don't believe that anyone should ever... No one owns anything. We don't own anything. I live in a society entirely of communist love. All right. Now that we have that out of the way, um, no, I I object to the multiplayer base claiming thing because I think that's dumb. People just claim all of the private property on the map, and then it's no much. It's not that much fun for everyone. Oh look, God, look at this covered bridge. Oh dear God, I can't see anything. Wait, wait, what? What is in front of me? This is a concern. Look, nothing is visible. No, didn't you watch the video the other day? We made a society of communist love in Stellaris. It was great. It was great. Everything worked out for some reason. For some reason. Stellaris was a lot of fun. I, I gotta say, Paradox is like just a great... Uh, a great company to work with. They're very nice. They give you a lot of like... Or at least to me, they gave me a lot of room to, you know, do creative direction with the video. So I always like working with them. Um, but yeah, that was fun. It was nice to see that a lot of folks like Stellaris, though. Because, you know, it's, it can be very hit or miss. But altogether, uh, very nice folks. Very nice folks. I will say that. that I do really mean that. I, I try to avoid... Though, to be fair, I do avoid... Uh, I honestly haven't had any problems with that. There's other people that have been, like, kind of, you know... I don't always feel like it's worked out for the best. But it's also like, uh... Well, I'm kind of lazy, so there is that as well. Alright, well now we have a lot of zombs here. Now we have a lot of zombs. Uh, we're expecting that when we get to... Where is it that we're heading? Lake City? Erin City? Wherever it is... Thy will be done. Most folks on the forums debating if Sledge will take five to ten times more time to break walls. I think that would make sense, because the Sledge Hammer is unrealistically strunk. You know. Part where my... Oh, is it Dark Falls? Thank you, Dark Falls. Actually, Lake City is, is near me. Lake City. That's a real place. That's a real place. I meet a lot of people coming out of Lake City, like welders and stuff. Kind of fascinating, all the new jobs that people have. It seems like in New York, everyone's a lawyer or a teacher or a doctor or some kind of profession. You know, where I'm at, everyone's like a scientist or, uh, or like, works with their hands. It's interesting. It's good to move around the country a bit, though. It gives you a little bit of perspective. Yeah, I think they, I think they need to nerf sledgehammers a bit. But see, my issue with multiplayer was that people would... Just claim all the buildings. No one would be able to get into the buildings anymore. And then people would just be wandering around the map. So when I used to run a server, people would just be drifting about. Like vagabonds. Like Bob Dylan. You know? Alright, this is serious doo-doo now. Hang on a second. We're going to have to get out the, uh, the shotgun and the map. Maybe not in that order. Oh, wow. Okay, we have just... We have just transcended the bridge. How excited am I for the multiplayer release? I'm pretty excited. You know, what I'm most excited about isn't necessarily the multiplayer release, but... Uh, I'm excited that other people have made just totally different kinds of content on YouTube. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen... I'm sure you guys have seen Nurse's uh, interesting videos, like the short ones. And I was kind of thinking through this last night, because on the one hand, although, like, a lot of YouTube is kind of going over to this shorts meta, on the other hand, I kind of get that, though, because you get, you as a viewer get to participate in the video more, you know, like, you get to actually decide what to watch. So I was thinking of making a series of philosophical introspection shorts where you get to choose, like, a choose-your-own-adventure series, kind of like a date with Markiplier, if you remember that. Mark, uh, I like Mark. <coughs> I don't know why I'm dying. 
Um, but yeah, I thought that would be fun, kind of make viewing more into like a video game, you know what I mean? Check Nurse out, too, to recommendation binge most of the videos. Yeah, they're all 30 seconds, so it's crazy. I mean, she, I was chatting with her a bit. She said they were like very easy to get out, which is kind of nice. And they're also like kind of a shit post, and I mean that in obviously a great way. Can I change the difficulty settings in Project Zomboid? Probably. Probably. Will I? Well, yes, I probably can, unless if I were somehow smackledorfed in the next few minutes. Uh, hang on a second. We might have to get back into the car and heat back up. Wow. I thought it'd be neat, you know, like, uh, just try out something that makes for a new, more participatory viewer experience. I think that's that's always time well spent. I was just thinking about the kinds of stuff I would want to watch. Um, but not going to lie, people's attention spans do kind of die out in like 20 seconds. Like it it does show in in data. Like I'll look at uh I'll look at I'll look at and and I don't think that's necessarily because it's yeah, maybe uh, the stuff I make is boring. Maybe it is. But whatever it is, yeah. I mean, I I have I have a liberal arts degree, and my attention span lasts for, like, 30 seconds. Not that that has any bearing on anything. It's mostly just me being an obnoxious, uh, uh, troglodyte. She also made kick-ass surviving the first... Yeah, no, they were good. Uh, who was the other guy who did stuff, though? That would be, uh, that would be excluding... Who was that other guy? The Russian gentleman, or gentlewoman, I don't really know. Wama, the guy who did this, uh, Smash Mouth video. I just think that it was fun that that kind of content came to Zomboid. All right, now hang on a moment. This is this is not allowed. Did you see that? I was in the car. I was heating up with the heater on. Obviously, is there a conservative arts degree? <laughs> oh God. Well, you know, like some people might say. Actually, this is a question that somebody asked when I went to high school. Uh, kids were very, like, political there. And he said, you know how people say, like, I will liberally, uh, like, place marshmallows on your s'mores. That means that they're going to place marshmallows on your s'mores. Not that they'll have, you know, like, democratic leftist beliefs, but rather more so does liberal arts mean more arts i don't know but then also too we have that word libellus in latin which means little book what is book in latin or like is spanish libro my god we're not here for word derivations though we're not here for word derivations but study your latin study your latin more opposed, more arts. So I always think of that whenever anyone says the phrase liberal arts. More arts. Yes, I studied more arts in college. Which is somewhat ironic because liberal arts actually includes sciences as well. I don't know about you, but I got my BA and BS. That's my favorite joke. That's my favorite. Very intellect. Very intellect. All right. Uh, should we put the, my favorite thing to do is put an entire rifle into the glove box. It just folds over itself. How can you beat that logic? I would still like my square based a la Resident Evil inventory system. I took Latin for three years. Yeah, I took Latin for three years as well. It's enough. But the funny thing is that it keeps coming back to haunt you as you're an adult. Unfortunately, you never took Greek, but it has silly lettering. So we don't. Yeah, it might not be as useful in that way. It might be harder to associate because we use the, uh, uh, what what are our letters? The, the Roman alphabet? Or what do we have? We have 20 gauge shotgun shells. Uh, we do actually have quite a lot of shells. This will be, this will be a time. Am I mixing this up now? 20 gauge shotgun shells. We do have a 20 gauge shotgun, right? Tell me we do. Well, we must have 12. Oh wait, no. Yes, we have 12 gauge. Well, ah, uh, no, the disappointment is now. Our numbers are, our numbers are Arabic. They're not, I didn't say that they were Arabic. I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. I resisted it. You can mosen down to town and get some loot. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Wow, very, very... I was actually coughing, but very funny. That one awesome dog, as well as Woo Heck. Thank you very much for the subs. Um, we have 762. We have a box of that, 308. 762, 308, and 223. As well as 45 ACP. We have quite a lot of stuff that we don't have uh, ammo for. 30, oh, I'm not going to say anything right. 308, when we have 308 window. Look, it's 308 window. I'm just going to say whatever I think it stands for. What is it again? What does it stand for? Window. We have those window rounds. It does have the magazine, though. Wow. We're going to grab that. Savage 12. That's kind of a badass name for a... What is this? A hunting rifle? Okay. Maybe I'm ready for this. Winchester, thank you. Oh, God, it's been a while. I know people won't like that because people get their people get upset when you misidentify. The moment you d Europeans started using Arabic numbers, they changed their numbers. Well, you know, you got things like the Library of Alexandria. Pretty great place. My God, that sound! Ah, uh, it's very ear. Don't you think? That even kind of rings out. That is a little bit more realistic. I mean, the sound of gunshots is not pleasant. It's not as pleasant as it seems in the game. Unless if you're wearing those cool ear protectors. What do they call ear pros, right? Hey, ghoul! Hey, man, I was, I was hoping we could do multiplayer on this. Actually, in regards to our conversation. But it's a busy weekend. We should get that going. I was thinking that would be the next adventure. I'm just clearing out this place. And then after that, we have to get all of that. We have to get in some... Uh... Actually, I had a few ideas. I wanted to do, like, Left for Dead PZ. And uh, maybe, like, you have one... There's so many ideas that I have. I'm not going to sound like a child reading off their Christmas list on Santa's knee. Wasn't that kind of weird to put... To position your child as such. I don't know, I don't have a child, but had I a child. Yeah, I just sent you the yeah, god damn it. But we'll get something. We'll get something going. That's gonna be the next PZ. My god, this is great. To be on the outside of the base, there's nobody behind me trying to sell me something. Ah god. One at a time, except that this does have uh piercing. It does have piercing. Winchester Cathedral. My god, look at the grass. Okay, now this is... I don't like having the forest on my left. That's not a great feeling. Uh, you know what I just ate this morning? I ate a New York bagel. It tasted great. I recommend it. I recommend it. Double headshot, right? Yeah. 12 gauge sounds badass, only with the earmuffs, yeah. I mean... What do you want? Do you enjoy going? Do you enjoy hearing, sir? Do you enjoy hearing? But yeah, I, I think that was what I said <laughs> when I when I first uh, when I first shot one. A buddy of mine got it. You always got to get that kind of thing on videotape. It's just such a great moment. Holy cow! All right, uh, one more, one more. What, if he, has he got a scissor sticking out of him or something? No. Damn it. All right, there we are. So glad to catch streaming in the lunch break. Find it start. Hey, enjoy your lunch break. Hey, thanks very much for coming out, Kempfna. Hey, thank you. Ah, backpack. That is a... That is definitely a beautiful backpack. All right, we've got enough for maybe 14 more. They're going to keep flooding out of this place, though. Will there be enough... I think we did a pretty good job lining up the edge of the map, though. We're going to try to just lead them all out. This is the Max Brooks style of clearing out a place. You know, just make some sounds. Uh, wait, why can I target this from this far away? We're going to starve ourselves to the edge of death. Not quite there, though. Now, sometimes we do need to wait for point-blank range, though, because our character is... What is he at? Damn it. He's at... Uh, we're, we need to re-rack, methinks. Oh, this just has not as good a racking sound. 
All right, don't like that. And there's also fog. Okay. Okay, fog. Aiming and reloading are improving. Wow. Uh, there are seven seven rounds left. Okay, we got to get in the car because, as you know, probably this car doesn't like to start. There we are. Okay, great. Great to be here at the place doing things. We are getting tired, though. That's not great. I just, I literally just slept. Like, tired of sleeping. Fortunately, there's two left, and I have two bullets, so. Ah, crap. I would have done that. Well, all right. Damn it. Hang on a second. Oh, nightstick. You can attach to my belt. What a... What a generous nightstick it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn it. All right, get rid of this guy and then I can relax and think. There's a soft cap at reloading and aiming at level five. You only get one third of XP. Oh, damn it. Well, at that point, you pretty much take out everything in existence. You don't really need that much aiming to do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah, the cars do feel small when you're used to the size of- I mean, like, a car is- A car is like a house, you know? It's like a small house that you sit in and it takes you places. 22 LR. Do we have 22 LR? What does LR stand for? 762, uh, 223 RM, uh, 9x19 millimeter. Uh, 45 ACP. Really, the 45 ACP is the most desirable thing because we have a lot of it. I think we have 45 LC. That's not what I need. I'm thinking that 45 ACP is often used. Isn't that in submachine guns and, uh, handguns? We do have a 762, though. Uh, this is Mosin Nagant. Ah, uh, what an opportunity for puns with that. Okay, here we are. A uh, revolver. We don't have even a uh, magazine because they obviously don't take those. There we go. So let's take out the 45 ACP. Wowzers. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I found it. Don't, no, don't. Get your briefs in a knot. Oh, now we gotta put it on the ground. Oh my god, what a hardship this is. Oh, Jesus, and take all of the 20... There's only four? Well, that's a ripoff. Okay, I mean, if it had only four, we're just gonna leave it on the ground. Goodbye, ammo canister, of whom we got to know a lot. All right. Great to be here. Playing the forest. Oh, the forest is a banger. I was playing the forest in real life the other day when I was actually driving through the forest at night. Dear God, that's good. I was expecting more. I was expecting a lot more. I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. I am like George Washington. I'm not like George Washington. See how close I need to wait? I mean, I know that's not a logical sentence, but hear me out for a minute. That Britta did a very good job with all of the d variations on sounds in this. My god, I really like Britta a lot. Oh, large backpack. Majestic large backpack. I can eat now. Duffel bag. Duffel bag? You're a heaping pile of garbage. With nothing inside of you. I relinquish you. I think these foot bandages... Why am I losing health? Oh, because of cold. Oh, what, uh, hang on a second. We have to get inside, brothers and sisters. Where is indoors? This is bad. Look, I'm gonna die of the cold. Okay, now we need to fight for our right to indoors. LR equals long rifle. Ah, thank you. So it's literally just long rifle. Some of these 
a lot of these seem like old things. Like, wasn't the Winchester, there used to be the Winchester Repeater. I remember watching a History Channel special on that. Kind of badass. What was it about the Wild West and all of the new technologies that they were creating? The Wild West must have been a, just a crazy place. Can you imagine people rolling up on a horse? It could be kind of manly. I like that. Like, do some man shit. Ride up on a horse. Do you think that... Oh, God, there's so many questions about, like, laws with horses. Wow. What a different, privileged time to have lived in. Stoger. Oh, God. Yeah, here, I was just talking about the Wild West. Dear God, this is great to have these 12... Ga okay, great. We needed this. Unfortunately, all of the other places are devoid of everything, but... Winchester. Yeah, there we go. What was I just talking about? Model 1887. Mandatory for... Unfortunately, we don't, though, if you go to other states. Uh, indoors, uh, watching PC vids. Oh, we were doing some with Lime a while back. I want to get in a lot of stuff with friends over this weekend. Yeah, that's probably why I'm going to call this the uh, the finale. I don't know what you folks enjoy. Do you guys enjoy watching me with another... P I personally enjoy playing with other people a lot, but I feel like I lose track of the chat. and uh, And I do enjoy a good social... A good social. Though I think I think RimWorld with Jimmy was quite a lot of fun, too. I remember just mining towns mainly. Nothing like the films. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe there wasn't actually a lot of women in distress. Wait a second, are we technically inside here? Okay, we have reached an impasse. Hmm. Ah, my favorite dog food. I mean... Uh, that's bad. Okay, I am going to feed myself because of life and longevity. It's called the frontier. Finding it entertaining. A lot of people, uh, I don't know, a lot of people enjoy the multiplayer stuff. Hmm. 45 ACP, we put those in there. My god, the carry weight is so low. Why? Because I'm starving? Dirty rags. Water bottles. Okay, now I'm underway. Uh, ridiculously tired. I can't, like, draw the curtains, can I? Sometimes in these situations, I think you're just better off going to sleep rather than stirring up trouble, you know what I mean? I mean, critical damage. I'm bound to do something stupid. I always seem to attract the wrong kinds of attention, as Mother used to say. It's the Aurora. Hey, thank you for the prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Oh, LB stands for loaves of bread. Why Why are pounds LB, actually? I mean, technically, the reason a foot is a foot is because that used to be a guy's foot. But whose foot was the question? So that's why they said 12 inches, and then they made rulers... Uh, but obviously there's more than that. But yeah, foot used to be a foot. That's why they would call it the imperial measurement. Was it based on the king's foot? I don't know, but I'm guessing that when people measured things, they didn't always have a king with an identically sized foot or a clone of the king to get his foot. This is a stupid conversation, but a great one for streaming, so I'm just going to continue to entertain it. Oh, it's closed. What are we going to do? What a dumbass terminal. Window. Window. Oh, I love that animation, how he opens it the wrong way. It's so cursed. Look at that. Look at how he's opening this window. Oh, dear God. Look, he just went through something. You are like a Casper, the ghost that everyone likes. Oh, TV, you are so powerful. Will I ever find a use for you, TV? Oh, look, a ham radio. Does anyone need some cold cuts? Hey, Gray and Z, thanks very much for the T1 sub. The T I don't know why I said T1 sub, but thank you for the sub. Well, the T1 sub is good, you know, because then... It, actually, that does help the channel a bit, a bit more. There's all these kinds of different... But I'm not here to lecture you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Gray. The unit is descended from the Roman Libra. 
Oh, is it Libra? I don't know, because sometimes people come into my chat and make up quotes that sound scholarly. I believe you, but it's always funny. I think it's even funnier when people fake it out. Oh, dear God. Oh, why did I do that? All right, too late now. I really should look in front of me. It's because of the lack of sleep. Look at that. Wait, that's not a bed. There it is. Okay, the shotgun shells, the 12 gauge shotgun shells, this was a double box. Wow. If we can find anything like a modern rifle, that'd be great. Also, we have a lot of these 50 BMG. Contains 50 BMG. McMillian, McMillan TAC 50. What the hell is this? All right, we're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. As Kevin Hart would say. Um, hmm. single shot bear. Who dis? Okay, fifty. We have a f at least fifty fifty BMG rounds. My God, look, a viper. Now, what am I even saying? All right, let's get the uh, let's get the right. We I might even just put stuff on the ground. Like storage. Are we ever going to find any use for this? I've never seen anything that used this 9 by 39 millimeter. Uh, 12.02 out of 10. Let's get the revolver back in because I'm probably not going to use that for a while. Uh, the rip sheets. Even the nightstick is somewhat unnecessary at this point in time. Put the rip sheets in here because I think I'm okay. And 10.1. Now we just got to put the point one away. Dear God, I'm so close to being under encumbered. I should probably take something off of me. You know, I don't need this village people helmet. You know, uh, there we are. Great. Uh. Hmm. Who dis? Ah, uh, gas to go. There are there. All right, now these are not great rifles for me to be shooting. I don't want to give off the impression that they are. I should not do this at all, but... I mean, while it's only one dear god, that was the loudest shot I've ever heard. Why? I mean, I knew it was coming. Ah, oh, these tenant, r tenant rackets. Look, we could even play Wii Tennis. Wasn't Wii Tennis a great game to play with all of your relatives and then break the TV at the end? That was probably the... <laughs> I, just, I just think that Nintendo designed Wii Sports so that everyone would break their TV, knowing that it would lead to this awful video compilation of people breaking their hands, glass shards in their hands, ruined lives because of Wii Tennis. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Wii Tennis destroys armored vehicles. When you're done with the big guns, just get out the tennis racket. Nintendo just laughs at your pain. What a funny brand. What is BMG for? Big... MF and gun? I mean, it might, it definitely, it should at this, at this rate. BMG, Browning machine gun, but this is not a machine gun. It's, unless if I haven't learned more about it yet. Oh, he's actually doing very well with this. This is semi-auto? I thought it was bolt action. Oh, wait a second, is it? Dear God, I don't think I'm doing this right. Well, no, it's only 10 rounds to a magazine. Big meaty, big meaty claws. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's why I love this. Uh, that's why I love you guys. That sounded very... T I like my audience because you'll just break out the SpongeBob memes. Like it's a... Like it's somebody's birthday, Jesus. All right, let's eat some tacos or whatever we can find here. I bet you it's all nails in this place though. Oh, it's not hardware in the fruit section containers. Oh, get some pl plower. Look everyone, plower. Or rather, flower. 
My god, anytime I look at food, I just think Thanksgiving. Why do I choose degrees Fahrenheit <coughs> instead of degrees uh, Celsius? Because I'm American, uh, and we read things in uh, Fahrenheit because it doesn't make any sense. Nor does anything that we do. You know, the U.S. was actually trying to switch over to the metric system a while back, and then it just decided not to. I don't really know why. But, yeah. I mean, not like to be anti-American or anything like that, but it's stupid to continue a system that doesn't make any logical sense. Think about it. The metric system, everything can be divided by 10. You always know how many it is. Think of how many times you have to look up... <coughs> excuse me. How many ounces are in a, a yacht or how many pounds are in a, a the sea, you know? When you're doing all of your word problems. Dear God. A train leaves Wisconsin and it is 12 ounces tall. When does it arrive in Washington, D.C.? How would I answer that with the imperial system? You know, this is why we need to speak like uh, British people and then we'll, and then we'll, dear God, what is this out here? So many questions, so no, we said we were going to go up north later on. Well, let's just keep on clearing out this area. Supposedly, there's more military. Yeah, you know, if only we had the metric system, I would be able to answer these questions and so many more. <clears throat> Not that there's anything wrong with uh, the imperial system. Like, you know, um, at least we have the Senate. I am the Senate, after all. I am. All right, uh, we have to take out that ass revolver again. Am I just going to keep backing up toward this? Dear God, I might I might actually just keep backing up toward this. Ah, uh, I got to go. I got to go. My God. There are rather a lot of them in this town. All right, okay, well, that was uh, a fortunate happenstance. We have coffee that we can eat and get very thirsty, and then we can... Break out the shotgun. Uh, that is actually a much better weapon than these, so we will proceed onward. Hey, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Carter tried to switch the U.S. to the... Actually, that's it. My father was a teacher, so he was teaching the kids the metric system. Ironically, a bunch of European kids that he was teaching. A uh, very long story. Um, the dislike didn't fail. Amer Americans disliked it. But the imperial system, you need to be smarter to understand. Also, SoCal Sweet, how are you? Happy to see you play with these mods in my videos. Sometimes I play with these mods in my videos. No, there was that issue with, uh, what was it, the Hubble? What, wasn't there the Hubble thing where somebody did measurements in the Imperial system and another person did them in metrics? I'm glazing over a lot of history right here. There's always, I'll say this, whenever you want to learn these types of things, and the reason why I go on with these I just, I find it fascinating to talk to you guys. I mean, think of it. You're 675 people on the internet somewhere, and all of you have different sets of expertises. Some of you are just trying to troll me right now, which is actually quite funny. Um, but I, I've gotten better at sifting through those of you who are trying to troll me. <laughs> and a lot of people have very good information on the internet. There's also a lot of people with terrible information on the internet. But, uh, I mean, in all honesty, I've learned a lot of just, like, really weird, obscure information ever since I started a channel. And it's different from just being able to look Let's something just up. Let's pretend I said something clever while I lay down and eat my bagel. I'll allow it. I mean, thank you for the, thank you for the sub barrel watch. I also don't choke. That seems very, uh, a little sus, you know? I wouldn't choke on the bagel. I also had a bagel, though, a delicious bagel. Damn. Wish I were eating it again. I should eat some chocolate. Well, why am I dying? Oh, I'm good. I am going to eat the chocolate now. <sighs> you drive a forklift. What, are you coming down the highway on a forklift? That would be quite entertaining. You, what would happen if you rear-ended somebody? So many questions. Okay, let's, let's get on. We're here. Uh, they're coming. Well, we got to get ready for big groups of them. Put that on the side seat. I think we're pretty safe in this one. We get the Taz. We get the Model 870 Marine. This one has seven. Sh 
Yeah, we'll use the Taz because it's kind of it's got a Z in it. You know, you could trust it. Uh, all right, pretty good, pretty good. Oh wait, Billy Milo. Oh, Billy Mil. Am I saying it right, Billy Milu? Billy Milo, Milo, Milu. Thank you very much for that. Actually, yeah, no, was that the one that I retweeted? That was a damn good fan art. That was actually one of the best fan arts I've ever gotten. Which is saying something, because I've gotten some pretty good ones. If you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a... I retweeted it. It's like a, a very nice... It's actually kind of badass. Oftentimes it will be like just a very cute frog, which is also nice. But this... This frog was like a shit-posting frog. He was spending his time on Reddit... And just making very high... He was giving out Reddit gold. You could tell. God damn it. Ah, military desert boots to pretend I'm in the military. Why? Who knows? Here we are. Oh, water. Water. Oh, this is going to be a good spread. That's enough. That's good. That's what I like. Uh, imperial system relates to actual stuff. How much can it fit in your hand? One pound. How much can fit in your mouth? One cup. How much can fit in a liter? <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> uh, I'm sure at some point in time it was very useful to use the imperial system, but now that we have standardized rulers... Amazon.com, these kinds of things that have generally made society so much more, it's, except in this one way, they've made it better because we can all buy a 12 inch ruler. Did that guy just open the fence? He did. Didn't we make the zombies random though? I like metric because it's all symmetrical numbers. Well, that's a very loving way of saying it. You should be a poet, though, I feel like, because there's symmetrical numbers. What is a symmetrical number? I think that's like, you know, 8,008 is a symmetrical number. That's definitely a, sym that's a symmetrical number. Oh, God. There must be an infinite number of them. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Sop with Campbell. Thanks very much for the prime. I don't know. I'm just having a good time. I'm feeling good. We finally found the guns. This is kind of the part of this playthrough I wanted to be up to, which is just, you know, it's never fun when you find the guns. God damn it. It's never fun when you find them right away, but when you find all the firepower later on in the playthrough, it makes it more, uh... It leads to a, a plethora of... of, uh... Of good feelings. We'll just say that. How does it have this good a spread? No one knows. But now we can take out this place. We could pave the way with blood to make way for more uh, weaponry. And then we can make our way out of the county. And that was kind of my goal for this playthrough, was to learn about Eerie, you know? And now I've learned about Eerie. And I've also learned that Eerie... Uh, I'll just say this about Eerie. I love Eerie, and, uh, you know, I've always said good things about it. But I I might wait on until it's done. Because the, the shape is a little awkward right now. And it it's gotten better, but Atox has been adding in more areas. Uh, I really like his work, though. <clears throat> I don't want to give off that impression. It's just that it's still a work in progress, and it's because it takes so long to make a map, and because he has taken so long to make such a large, beautiful map. It's a nice place. You can, you know, why don't you guys spend all, all of your Thanksgiving break learning about what all of the symmetrical numbers are. I bet your whole family will think that you're Rain Man or something. Oh, God, they'll have so many stories. No, don't do that, though. Don't do that. Like when he like when he calls out how many toothpicks there are to Tom Cruise, my God, why was Tom Cruise driving that man around? He was such an excellent driver. Uh, all right, here we are. 
back at the place. Here we are. Great to be here. Hang on a second. Let's consult the map. Uh, we're good. Man, the snow is like... This is Joycey and snow. I think we're going to read Ulysses or something in the middle of this snow. Okay, we got a... Uh, where is the map? We're going to go ahead and read the map. Wow. It, look, it really is a map. Uh, we're on... We're currently standing right here. So I'd like to see this thing. <clears throat> this looks like it might be warehouses. So let's travel... Weast. That appears to be Weast, right? Again, this way is left on the map. I know that might not be apparent to you, um, nincompoops, but it's... It's apparent to me. It's apparent to me. Here we go. Uh, good. Man, look at all that good spread. You love it. You love it. Wanted to see if it was worth it. If Happy found it. Yeah, Project Zomboid is worth it, I think. I would buy it now if you're going to buy it, because they're eventually going to come out with the real Build 41, which has been in development for like two years now. Uh, and at that point, I think they're going to raise the price. It's only $15 right now. I mean, it's practically... Yeah, God, it's Bob, uh, Bob Ross. That's, I swear to God, that looked like Bob Ross. Wasn't that kind of gray-haired Bob Ross? Dear God, there must be a lot of stuff over there if there's this many of them. Oh God, they're coming from the front and the back and the left and the right side. In the words of 50 Cent. God, oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, 50 dollars is amazing, and they never seem to... I wish they'd do some DLC. I wish they'd put out a DLC and hire a couple of uh, more people, but there's already a lot of people working for the Indie Stone, too, so... You know, it is what it is. Should I buy the Long Dark for 10 bucks? I haven't gotten as much enjoyment out of it as this, but I've also not looked into it, and it, I, it's definitely worth 10 bucks. I would pay... I'd probably pay 20 bucks for the Long Dark. Though also, too, this is my job, don't forget. Like, if it's not your job and you question if you're ever going to have time to play the game, there's more in my Steam library than I'll ever uh, have time to play. But also, too, I mean, don't forget, for me, I take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm literally making videos. And, hey, you get back away from my feet. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, it might be it might be a slight uh, overstatement right there, I admit. Yeah, take care of yourself first, you know? The long dark will always be there. God, there, there we are. We must have more boxes of shotgun shells in there. My God, this is satisfying. I can't believe that we ran out. All right, does he... He does! My God, that's so great! He reloads from his backpack. What a smart boy! That wasn't always a thing! Am I not... I can't be wrong about that, right? I don't always recall that being operative. That wasn't the MO. That wasn't the modus operandi. The mode of operating. Probably not really what it means, but it's something like it. Uh, modus operandi. You know that's what MO means. If ever, someone ever says, is that your MO? They don't mean, is that your MO? Like MO. Like my friend MO. Who doesn't spell it with an E at the end? Because he's edgy. No, it's it's modus operandi. You're speaking in Latin. Quid pro quo. Uh, um, Salve. Bonam fortunam. You know, that kind, of, that kind of talk. That kind of talk. Like you could pretend you're Caesar one day. Now, where is any of this going? I don't know. I've just kind of felt like my mind has drifted a lot more in these playthroughs. I'd really like to just give myself an allowance to just kind of do that. I literally write a lot, and I'd like to do that for a... Maybe I'll do that for a shorts channel. I just realized, uh, you know, you have so many different conflicting desires. And to do that on the main channel would be crazy. 
great in a way, but also too, I think I want to try it out somewhere. So I think we'll be trying that out over the next year or so. I never thought we'd do a VOD channel, but this has been a lot of fun just chatting in a way rather than kind of, you know, I mean, certainly there is like a, certainly there is a persona that I'm occupying during the videos, which is also very much myself, but also too, not all the time. Sometimes I just want to talk about bagels, you know, things like that. Sometimes I just feel like talking about bagels. All right, where do we have that boom -ga? There we are. The m boom -ga. There we are. Oh. Wow. That. Oh, my dear God. That's rather a lot of rounds. Good. Collecting all the spiffos in here. I know, but it's too late now to save me because I already messed that up. But yes, you're right. Collecting the spiffos would have been a great adventure. The real me is cursing even less. Really? Do I, I... I think I just generally curse less than I used to. I just find that it's often like... And it's not because... I mean, on the one hand, too, it's not really great for... It's not really great influence. I don't know. I chatted with one of my cousins. I have, like, younger cousins who sometimes watch my videos. And I'm like, uh... Well, <laughs> I said to their dad, I was like, oh... Try to say the F word less. <laughs> He's like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't really, I don't really feel like you need it though. Sometimes it's cheap. Uh, where the hell is that weapon? What was I just firing? Benelli is the 12 gauge. That is a great. Oh, why didn't I take out the Benelli? That's a gun. Where is the BMG? BMG. It was in here somewhere. Hold on a s- Oh wait, no, it was in the front seat. It was in the front seat. Kicking it in the front seat. Kicking it in the back seat. Hey, wait, it has only 10 rounds in it? In a single box? It's kind of a ripoff. I don't know what I think of this. I don't know what to think of this. Hmm. Oh, I got rid of the uh, the magazine as well. Here we are. La 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 la. Yeah, there it is. Sir, so load the bullets. There we go. Fifty BMG is a huge bullet. I mean, many bullets are rather large. Looking forward to it. I mean, a bullet is actually a rather interesting invention. I never really appreciate. I th I thought that a bullet was just a piece of metal. There's actually quite a lot to a bullet. So I'm kind of amazing that it generates that much force, or rather speed, whatever it generates inside of there. I mean, to think that you could be holding something like that in your hands and that there's no like, it doesn't need to connect to Wi-Fi. You know. Like, firearms are kind of amazing inventions. <laughs> Can you imagine? God damn it, I don't have any Wi-Fi. Uh, there's, gonna, it's gonna, there's gonna be a day when they make smart weapons. I don't really think that it's the right audience. You know how you have smart cars right now? Welcome to your smart rifle. <laughs> All you need to do is fire, and then it'll just find the target. It's happened with everything else. What, what's to say that the technological change won't make its way over there? Yeah, you don't need to use your iPhone or anything like that. It just works. Slightly thirsty, moderate exertion. Wow. Never thought I would be this exerted. Yeah, that sounds like something out of Borderlands, right? A smart rifle actually would make for quite a funny game. You know, there are a lot of great, like, uh, alternative shooters, though. Like, there used to be this game called, uh, Singularity. I don't know if you've ever played it. But it was a fantastic game. It was about, um... Okay, we've got to break into this place. I mean, we've already been shooting a lot. We're gonna, not going to make a big difference here. And every gun in the game is like an alien weapon. It's kind of like uh, Resistance Fall of Man, or even sort of like Half-Life, which was one of its, I suppose, ancient ancestors. All right, could we get the door open? Let's get out. We can go to and fro. Titanfall. I've never actually played Titanfall, but I think it's in a similar genre. 
like those kind of weird World War II things, you know, like weapons that could fire around corners, the stuff that they were experimenting with that got onto the History Channel that they made into video games. What better war was there for the video game market than World War II? Think about how many games they made of it. Every other war that they've made is like, what if we had a modern war? You know, they're fantasizing. They're fantasizing. World War II. That was quite funny. Once I read an article about a World War II game where the... I can't remember who it was. I think it was in Nintendo Power, ironically, where the author said... One wonders whether more Nazis have been killed in, um, in World War II games than in real life. My money's on the games at this point. Think about how much of it the gaming industry gets off of it. It's wild. But I mean, never was there a war where there was such true evil. Damn it. Yeah, Nintendo, well, they were, it was like a World War II game. They weren't like, Toad and Mario go to World War II and... You know, uh, what am I saying? Go to World War Two. I haven't really streamed in a while, have I? Uh, hang on a second, I need to play the Zac Brown Band. We have some fried chicken here. Wow, amazing. Hang on a second. You know, I like the jeans and the fried chicken and... And a beer and Friday night. It's great to feel all right. And turn on the Google Home, request a song. There we are. Now, I ran out of things to listen on my road trip back up north. So I would just listen to everything that they listen that they used to play at my, uh... When I was a kid, I used to work at this bar, and... Whatever you think of the music, a lot of that kind of music annoys a lot of people, because it's very, like... Usually it's played loud with a bunch of alcoholics around. I understand that, but it gives me great nostalgia for my, uh, for my 20s, for my early 20s, I suppose. Anyway, I would yell, uh, or rather listen to that in the car. I'd probably sing along for a few of the miles. Oh, it was a great road trip. And I'm glad that it's over. Glad that it's over. Propane and propane... What is a propane pain accessory? Like a... Like a bejeweled propane tank? Remember when that bejeweled thing came out and all they showed on the commercials were bejeweled? <laughs> what a dumb thing TV is. Thank God the internet is out now. There were so many weird... Th like, I went to this fair the other day. I went to a fair with a couple of my friends. I know that sounds like rather... <laughs> like a little sus. <laughs> like, he went to a fair, huh? Yeah, I went to a fair. We had a great time. Uh, what do we do? They had all these things from the 90s. They had like, uh... They had like, uh... Magic 8-Balls. It was pretty good. Bro plane, uh, bro plane. Oh, Sod Yeller and Lee Bobson. Thanks very much for the subs. Sorry, I didn't see the one from before. It took me long enough. Dear God. I don't even know that's a thing, but it's hard to get propane by me. You gotta go all over. We don't have any targets in Long Island. That's the that's the issue. We don't have Walmart or Target. I'm originally from Long Island. And although there's like a restaurant every three feet, they just don't have big box stores. Bejeweled. Oh no, I'm never gonna get that bejeweled deal. Bejeweled. Wasn't that? I don't even think that was what they called it. I can't remember what it was. Bejeweled? No, that's a game, I'm pretty sure. I think I misnomered it. Propane be Oh, Bedazzle. Yeah, I think it was Bedazzle. Wasn't that it? Uh, one wonders if we'll ever get to the end. Well, what is our kill count at? We were at about 600 at the beginning. Now we're at 882. See how the acceleration of the killing takes place. Sure to take notes and make observations. My god, this is great. It's 
That's good though. I had a good weekend. Uh, I don't know what else did I do. I ran. I ran. They had a turkey trot in my town. That was good. I felt, uh... It feels good to run. That's pretty much the only thing that I do other than make videos and just see people is, is run. You gotta exercise. I PR'd. That felt good. Uh, I think the guy in the front of the race caused everybody to PR, so that was good. Sometimes a meeting of the, uh... A meeting of the runners does that. But the great thing is that where I'm living, uh... Everyone runs and then goes out for drinks at the end. I, I like that, though. You don't really have that in my, uh, in my hometown. It's unfortunate. Yeah, running from someone. Yeah, turkey trots. That's a fairly, uh, a common thing in the U.S. Pretty much every single town has a turkey trot. I mean, at least all the places I've been. It's alliterative. It's an alliterative event. It's great. Okay, here we are. If in Illinois didn't get away, so they were chasing me. Was, no, nobody was chasing me. Well, I was chasing the front guy. It was good. It was actually running was the only thing I was ever good at as I grew up. I was not very good at sports. Not very good at sports, but I was very good at running. Running away. <laughs> but basketball is fun. If I, if I were good at a sport, I think it would be basketball. Or if I could pick one to be... Just because it's a lot of fun to play, but you could also keep that with you throughout your life. There we go. Damn it. All right, let's see if this town actually has anything to offer. I'm going to, uh, dear God, that was a lot. Uh, we're going to eat half of an entire canister of dry coffee. Track, track is sort of a sport. It's like a supplementary sport. I mean, would you watch track? Like, I would, there's a reason why football does better on all of the ratings. I'm not even going to, I, I w wouldn't really want to, those guys get paid a lot too. But they kind of deserve it for all the danger that they put themselves into. It's exciting to watch, though. Until somebody gets hurt. Which happens every play now. Alright. Weast. On the road again. Oh no, I enjoy watching sp I watching I enjoy watching football. I like college football. I don't really like I can't get into pro football. There's just too much regional pride in it, I suppose. Oh, I suppose college is nice because it's like, you know, they who knows whether they'll make it. It's uh, you know. Some pro football stories are interest me. But It's like racing. People watch it for the injuries and the crashes. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Why do people... I could never get into racing, though. Well, the thing is that football, I find unrepetitive. Like, I can't... I wish I could get into sports that people really enjoy. Like, I can't enjoy soccer, really, because I find it too repetitive. And yet a lot of people like it. So I'm like, maybe there's something to be had here. I find basketball kind of repetitive. Sometimes I could get into March Madness, but only for about a month. Football, though, I guess because every play it changes. And I know the complaints that you don't get to see enough. Well, then watch the highlight reels. Know, if, you, if you're really invested in a team, it's fun. Or if you root for an underdog, I think it's more fun to watch. Because then you actually get excited when they win. That's why I don't think it's very much fun to watch a team that's really good. There we are. Okay, this entire town is just very corrupted and sad. But the question is, like, will there be stuff in the military? I know there's a guy right there. Will there be stuff in the military base over here? We're kind of running low on uh, rounds. Uh, I kind of like this moodiness, how every house is, like, broken into. Been very loquacious. Alright, what is, what is this? 
We got the food. Ooh. Man, I'm liking the snow. It's pretty moody. Have we got something with the... There we are. Okay, good. Darn. I check up top. Ah, uh, somebody placed this tactical box right here. Okay, we're going to take out this tactical brown paint and then move the tactical brown box. Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Goodbye, box. Some nefarious shrump it left it there. Damn it. Still can't get in. I could have been somebody. Yeah, let's check out the front. The front looks like it's more of a, a broad entrance. Is the jarring in this game good or useful without... Uh, who is it? Gnomus used to do jarring. Gnomus is pretty much the best Project Zomboid player there is. So I, I think jarring has a purpose. Though that was back in build like 39. I still think its functionality has changed. So jarring is probably good. I've never done any jarring in this game, though, after 700 hours. I haven't had to. Damn it. Oh no, the exertion! Oh, the police! Ah, hang on, a police. Look, everyone, a police. This might be all we need. Alright, we're going to uh, use the rest of this revolver. Use the rest of the revolver. What am I even saying? There we go. We'll equip that to our primary. Uh, we'll put the Macmillan in the backpack. That is a rather heavy rifle. Wow. Yeah, Monomus is very methodical. That's Well, I enjoy watching him when I want to learn. I always learn things when I watch other folks, too, because, you know, you have a tendency to get into a habit of doing things a certain way. Noom. All right, this is more like what I was talking about. Oh, that is good. That is great. Okay, we're off to the races now, except we're almost completely out of bullets. Wait till we see the whites of their eyes. That's not going well. Alright, now they're coming from all over town. Damn it. How have I managed to keep myself alive this long? Alright, let's just walk around, walk around. How many days and how many kills? How many days and how how many days has it been too? One month, five days, three hours, nine hundred thirty-nine kills. Oh, we will get to a thousand, I predict. Now all I need to do is get into that police station. And I'm just gonna eat more coffee. La 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 la. That doesn't look like good. Uh, like a Maxwell house. It looks like a Maxwell home. Nemesis fiance created a few new crafting mods in it. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I remember he would do a couple of videos uh, with them two together. Actually, I think he was the first person I saw do the split screen. Oh, look, we have like a like a dead people burial spot. I think the only thing that I'm going to find in here, though, is this police station. Because I was thinking that, that might be a military base. Unfortunately, it was actually a graveyard. It just looked like a military base from overhead on the map. So that was an unfortunate uh, common resemblance. Very easily confused military bases and cemeteries. And we're also out of uh, ammunition. Okay, how are we doing otherwise? Are we ready to fight for our right to party? I'd say we are. 
All right. Oh, wow. Hey, Box Bros, G. Thanks very much for the prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Oh, rugby. I suppose that's what... Isn't that pretty popular over in Australia, I thought? I guess in other parts of the world, too. Well, rugby is interesting because you... You know, I always thought it was funny how politely they're able to hand the ball out of the... What do they call it? The scrum? Though that can get rather terrifying, though. I mean, at least in football, they are more armored. But I think that can also make it worse. No, I know nothing of rugby injuries. I just know people like get their ears hit. Like, ooh. All right, let's go. Let's go over to the police station now. Uh, looks like these trees were all placed in a rather dense scrum. Scrum over. Dear God, wait a second. Oh, that didn't look like water there. What was that? I'm lucky to have made it out of there alive. Now that I look at it, but that was very deceptive water. That water was trying to sell me something. Uh, yeah, more brain damage in America. Yeah, that's true. I, I think that might also be cultural, just in how much people in football are huge. Okay, uh, hmm. Or, I mean, if you're watching this, you, if you have no idea what I'm saying, American football, I should say that. I don't always take into account that my audience is really more international. I think my audience is 30% from the U.S., which doesn't really seem like all that much when you when you get right down to it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that we don't have the shotgun on us anymore. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. What am I gonna do? I guess I'm gonna eat this entire box of mac and cheese. We could wait here. Fortunately, we won't be tired in a while. Quite honestly, I was expecting a bit more. I may hop back in the car and just, like... Yeah, this is not good. Uh, what do I do here? Okay, it's remote over here. All you really need is a remote place. So, let's sit on the ground. Catch our breath. I'll feel better probably by the early evening. And then, uh... And then we'll play it by ear from there. Okay. Down to moderate. Uh, high exertion. I stand corrected. Moderate. Making progress. Why does it take him two hours to recover his breath, though, is the question. Find another survivor house with treadmills surrounding it. That was kind of a funny, meme house. I enjoyed that. I like that place. Ah, uh, but now the tired has begun again. Now, this is something I'd really like in the game. Now, when you think about it, there's no topography in Zomboid. Think of how interesting it would be if they added in, like, hills or something like that. One wonders if they'll, uh... I mean, like, they're making a Kenshi 2, for God's sake. I would be really interested in a Project Zomboid 2 where they just added in all that kind of stuff. And maybe if they did it in a different engine. All that's to say, I like the product, and I would keep doing it. I like what they're making. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. If it comes out, if it comes out. This is the policy, all right? You know, I said that in kind of like a, an Italian way. The policy. What is that? Policy. Policia is... Police in Spanish. Is that police in... I don't know. what it, What is it in Italian? Whatever it is. Alright, this building is boarded up with metal sheets. So, significantly stronger. So, if there is anything in there, you can bet that it's not getting out anytime soon. Also, nothing's probably getting in anytime soon. I think I also made the constructions in this world stronger than usual. But if we can get into this place, I bet you will find our first, like, true armory. Which has been my goal, more or less, for the whole time. 
Okay, this is a this is a uh, excellent weapon. I'm gonna take that with me. Am I over encumbered? I am. I also need water on the inside. I know that sounds trivial, but it's important. Right, we're not gonna fire this for a while. <clears throat> Neither from the gastrocnemius nor the soleus. Oh, it doesn't have a magazine. Damn it. Okay, put that back. Take back out the nightstick and just hit people. This is Salty Gix Misty. I can't even pronounce my own name. Crap! No, wait a second, I was so close! Oh, I'm fine. I'm completely fine. I was backing away. I'm surprised that that happened. You know, I gotta be more careful, even. That was surprising. I was backing away. Well, whatever. Complaining won't save your life. <laughs> Damn it, I wasn't supposed to have a heart attack now. Ah, oh. <laughs> I didn't make my appointment. Okay, this is... This is sus. Alright, now we are getting tired. It's surprisingly strong now. My stats have increased. I increase. I increase. Good one and two. At least this is silent. Oh, well, not silent, but silenter. Uh, I've wanted to get into this building. Oh, uh, get out of there. See, there could have been more. It was a good thing you left. You can't fight him in the place. You gotta get clear sight lines first. It's because of these weird windows. Look, I can't see anything through these. Ah, uh, look, he just apparated in from nowhere. Yeah, I did get lucky there. I know I should count my blessings, but it's also that sometimes the cutaways don't work on these things either, so I have to get extra lucky. Fortunately, I have ten luck. Damn it. Ah, another nightstick. Nightstick is actually a ra <coughs> excuse me, a rather good weapon. <coughs> Alright, let's have two. Uh Bonkin' him. Hey, Gerate Geratesen. Thanks very much for gifting that sub. I appreciate that. This is kind of a vibe in here. I'm liking this. Everything is a vibe, though, if you say that it's a vibe. All right. Water bottle full. Though this menacing metal hitting is unnerving. It could be the hash. The hash ringing slasher. I mean, I am exhausted. Let's see if I can find a bed in this police station. There's got to be a bed somewhere. Could I sleep in a cell? Cell might actually not be a bad place to sleep in. Oh, what a majestic fence. Could I have gone in there the whole time? There's going to be one of these rooms in here where just 20 of them rush out at me, though. Yes, the cells. Who is... There is a sound here. Alright, well, whatever. I'm sleeping in a cell tonight. If only I can get in. Uh, let's try one of the cops. See if we can get the key from them in the downstairs. That way I could probably open up the cells. Anytime you see, like, house key on a zombie, that's usually... Yep, here we go. House key. I'm gonna grab it from a couple of other ones, too, because sometimes it's not always the right one. You did not have it. You had a... Literally armed with a like a Wild West rifle. This is a very underfunded police station. There we go. Walked away from the door. Much better. More killing was had. Victory was more intense. Get them guns. Oh, wowzers. Hey, Riversend, thank you very much for the very generous $25 donation. I appreciate that. 
we do be doing uh, the the dem the dem guns getting. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Thank you, Rivers End. Is that like a Rivers, like like a zombie Rivers, or is it just like Rivers? I'm gonna be kind of edgy. Spell Rivers with a Z. I'll allow it either way, but curiosity, curiosity. Because I do get, a, I kind of miss, this channel started off on the whole kind of zombie theme, you know? And I wonder if we've like drifted away from that, which was why I was thankful to be able to do that with RimWorld recently, you know? Like the RimWorld zombie 100 day playthrough. That was quite a lot of fun. It was, I'm not, I'm not uh, I had a great time. I would do that one again. I would do that one again. Song from Skinny Puppy called Rivers End. Oh, really? Skinny Puppy. I know Snarky Puppy. They're like a jazz conglomerate. Took a couple jazz courses in college. I don't know why I'm, I'm bragging about that. <laughs> uh, what did you do? What did you do? I took a course. Wow. I did that, though. When I was in college, I nearly studied music. You know what I find is very ironic? I took, like... Uh, economics courses my entire family is much more like on the writing creativity end kind of not really that not actually that's that's misleading because people do plenty of creative things with technology all the time but uh at the same time i never <clears throat> i never really uh, my god why am i dying um never really got uh use out of much more stuff than like writing most useful stuff. There are no weapons in the police station. What do they do? Is this guy like, I brought a rifle from home. <laughs> Can you imagine trying out for a police? I just got into your content find very entertaining. Love the zombie content and the room world stuff. Hey, thanks very much. It's Boston. Boston's a great place. Also a good band. Wasn't Boston a band? What, was, what did they do? Snarky Puppy is, yeah. Oh, Wolfpack. Wolfpack is fantastic. Like that uh, retro 80s stuff. Yeah, actually my roommate back in school. My roommate back in school had fantastic taste in music. So he was into like Wolfpack. I think he originally was the person who got me into Elliot Smith. Not really very obscure, but like, you know, uh, good music. Incredible songwriter. Really sad what happened to him. Um, oh my God, look, my favorite, a cockroach. Can you imagine just seeing a cockroach and just wanting to eat it. I mean, they do look substantial and meaty. Yep, this is totally the uh, police station. change I took from a trespassing bicyclist in my grove. You are always welcome to seek respite here. Uh, what is that a reference to? Midwestern Drop Ape, thanks very much for the $3. Is that like a reference to Johanny from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? The lady who looked kind of like a bird or a cat? But you turned her from the Sith, which was just such a great moment. My god, we gotta play Knights of the Old Republic now. I know it's such a deep reference, but you people in my audience are, are usually uh, sommeliers of old gaming and media. Like, I've chatted with... It's hard to talk to a lot of people when there's like hundreds of thousands of viewers, but I'll always try to, from time to time, just chat with somebody who, uh, I was chatting with one guy who's like a computer programmer who watches the videos, and he turned me onto a lot of other channels I like. It's funny, a lot of my friends actually IRL, like, without even really, uh, mentioning YouTube, were like, yeah, I'm really into Mandalore right now. I was like, I, he's a friend of a friend, so it was kind of cool. It was, a, it was a nice, uh, nice moment. I've never, I've never actually chatted with Mandalore, though. Here he's a wonderful person. Wonderful person. Um, hmm. Firehouse. We have garage doors with glass on them? I didn't even know that this was in the tile set. Wow. Yeah, Mandalore. Mandalore has solid reviews. Like, just good opinions. Coder, getting a re Coder is getting a remaster? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am a wonderful person. I wonder why the TTS read it. You are Triple G. Of course you are. Of course you are. No one questions it. No one questions it. Um, probably 
probably the most wonderful person. I've never contradicted myself on that. Why is there a bed in a factory? I'm getting out of it. I don't trust this bed. <laughs> this is not even in the other... Oh my god, wow. It's not even in the other rooms. You know what? I think it's a... This must not be a factory. This must be a fire department. Or something like that. I am just okay. Yeah, as I always say, Arrow Watch is just okay. So don't, uh, don't fuss over... So don't fuss over Arrow Watch. You know, he's, he's just okay. Or she, or she, or she. Pro probably he. Probably he. 95% of you are he. Hey, thank you for the bits, Sarah. Watch and Triple G. I appreciate that. Hang on a second. Let's lie down and go to sleep. Or at least rest. Hmm. Yeah, there we are. It's not getting to be the same. Mm, real ambiguous could stop anything and work as you become more. Inch. I don't. None of that makes any sense to me, though. You know who I really enjoy watching? Uh, what was he saying, though? Mandalor who else is in that group? Oh, Uber Danger. I love all of Uber Danger's stuff. Uber, he really inspires me with his Gandhi kiss. That was a great. That was a great video. I basically think that it, every video should try to be like the Gandhi kiss. It's just so pure. It's so pure. If you haven't ever seen it, go watch it. Go watch it. You'll you will be filled with light after you watch it. All right, it's four ten a.m. Where are we now? I want to see the top of this building. What kind of structure are we in? Now I don't think that this town was really as good to me as I thought it could have been because you know we had a police station, we had several militaristic tents, we had many things, but many, many of them uh, weren't any of them fruitful. We're not going to speak in complete sentences for the rest of this stream. Just uh, get hold on to your hat. It's going to get weird. Yeah. Breaking rules. Uh, ooh. Maybe your fireman here is, uh, is ready for me. Yep, these fire, firefighter pants and jacket are better than my current ones. Oh, they also have military boots. Is that so? Do firemen think that they're in the military, so they're wearing the boots and the... Ah, uh, this tank top is dirty. Which means that I'm dirty. Oh, look at these long, long socks. Wow. Uh, actually, these ones were better. Wish I did audiobooks, could listen kind of. I was thinking of doing some writing shorts channel. Here was the, the reason I was chatting about that before was I think it'd be fun to just do something shorter content because practically everything I do is 10 to 15 minutes just because of the way that I think it's good to stick with the normal time for videos. I, d I find it's hard to do things longer. In fact, I'd like to do some shorter stuff, so I might end up doing some shorts soon. I'd like to. No reference I applied. I just lived as a rare Midwestern cryptid. What is what is a cryptid? I have to look that up. My god, I wish I had that word in my vocabulary. Cryptid. What a What a word smith you are. Mm, yeah, maybe this playthrough has been too moody. Let's make our way up to uh the, actually, I won't be able to make my way out of here, but let's just probably crash the car and die. That might be a great way to end it, right? 5.20 a.m. when the, you know, I felt like a, you know, I'm trying to recall. I guess I'll just be right up in front and honest with you. The reason I enjoy this playthrough is because I find that it gets me appreciating the little things about this game again. I used to make maps for this game before the channel kind of uh, blew up with a few challenge videos. And I actually thought I would be going in a more creative direction with stuff like programming and art and stuff like that. Uh, until I was able to make some videos that did pretty well. So it, it always kind of brings me back to that. That's why I enjoy... <coughs> excuse me. That's why I enjoy doing... I got to drink some water. 
Cryptid is a mysterious animal. Wow, I didn't... I didn't... You, the more you know. Cryptid. Could you use it in a sentence? She'd play Disco Elysium. Lots of cryptids in that game. Oh, you know what I was just checking out, though? And here's more back on that topic. I mean, like I said, playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead always gets me back into the gaming mood. Just something that's notoriously over-detailed as a game is... My god, turn on! Turn on! I sounded like... I sounded like that famous senator from Vermont right there. Once again, I'm asking for your financial support! There we are. Uh... Don't confuse it. Don't confuse it now, folks. Who has made more memes? Who has made more memes? Uh, where are we now? Where are we now? Yeah, but getting into the detail of games has always made me happy. So I'm glad to say that I found another one that I always thought would be right up my alley. So Battle Brothers, I think I might end up doing a bit more on stream. Battle Brothers is actually quite a solid game, and I had never played it until recently. That, and then a couple of other devs had messaged me with things that are very similar to the kind of class of games that I enjoy. The Kenshis, the Zomboids, the Rimworlds, the, the games with just really deep systems where you can get under the hood. Uh, this might be... This is sus. Short means... I, I bet you didn't see this one coming. Short means suspicious, guys. Because sus is the first three letters of suspicion. You, for it. P. you know? Yeah. Yeah. What did I, I ask for P? Oh, no, I didn't ask for P. That sounds... Um, no, I'm not going to entertain that topic. Hey, River's End. That is very generous. I thank you very, very much for the other $25. Wow. I, I truly hope you're not putting yourself at any financial... Uh, Desperation. Um, but if you are, I will um, use it. Uh, I will use your desperation to uh, probably buy bagels, if I'm being honest. Spend my money on bagels. But thank you very much for the very generous $25 donation. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Do you have any requests on anything? Skinny Hunt says the three letters. Yeah, it's like there was a kid I went to middle school with who, you know, emo music. Like where they're very, uh, they, were, they paint their nails black and they yell and they scream and they shake about. Um, hang on a second. We got to get this four gauge. Benelli. Okay, the Benelli is, this is good. This is the one I need. Do I have the shells on me? I do I? Do I? I have five of them, which actually might be enough. There was a kid I went to middle school with who used to run around saying that emo means emotional. I don't really get emotional from emo music, though. Do you get emotional? I get emotional from, like, Mariah Carey. You know? Stuff like that. Or uh, Celine Dion. Other hits of the 90s. Like, you know, like the theme from Titanic. Oh dear god, that's good. Look, there's a door on the other side. Have I heard, ever heard of Dungeon Synth? No, but I, actually that sounds like something I'd enjoy. I'm going to write that down. Hang on a second. How do you spell that dungeon? How do you spell Dungeon Synth? I'm writing that down. Sometimes you just hear a name of a game, and then you write it down because you're like, that might be me. Yeah, smells like teenage angst, right? That, what was that song that, uh, Curtis Colburn sang? What was his name? Isn't that Irish? Remember I was watching this documentary. I was a very moody 19-year-old. I watched a lot of emotional documentaries on Kurt Cobain. I think we all go through that. I think we all go through that. Now, I got really into music. Well, one thing I'm glad about coming home is I left behind all my music production stuff here at my, uh, uh, at my, at my home house. So bring it back with me. Bring it back with me. I honestly felt quite a lack in life up until then. 
I don't enjoy playing instruments anymore because it's just not a leveraged activity, you know? Like, why learn to play guitar when you could learn to program synthesizers? You know what I mean? And it has its own value and charm and things like that, too. I suppose that's a bit of an ignorant thing to say, but from my perspective, it's like... Unless if you're trying to make acoustic music, too, that's fair, but I don't know. I'm, I'm gliding over a lot of stuff, but for me personally, my personality, my personal personality. See, the word personal is in personality, which is what it is, so it makes sense. That's what I like to do. Ah, yes, uh, what is it? <laughs> Tibetan throat singing. Tibetan throat singing is really any type of music other than Tibetan throat singing. It's just not worth it. Or maybe, like, a band entirely of didgeridoos. Have you ever heard of didgeridoo? Anytime a ship pulls into dock, I think it's the perfect time for a didgeridoo to play. Oh, God. All right, we've got some kind of Sims workout gym going on here. Actually, the gym is rather nice. I didn't mean to sound disparaging, if that's what I did. Many people think that everything that I say sounds disrespectful. We're trying to get over that. It's an obstacle. I will respect you. There we are. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, zombs. There we are. Ah, you're still trying to sell me something. <laughs> oh, pills. Beta blocker. I don't believe that you need. Why do people take beta blockers for? Other than pan like to reduce panic, there is a reason why people take beta blockers, isn't it? Does it have to do with blood thinning? I want to say that my dad takes beta blockers. Why do they take them again? But that doesn't have anything to do with panic, is it? Just a totally separate use? Blood pressure. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. We've got like a whole high school here. Everybody's coming out in varsity jackets. This is more like Bully than, uh, than Project Zomboy. You remember playing Bully by Rockstar? Great game. Bully was actually a great game. Oh, this is a high school. This isn't a military complex. What the hell? Damn it. No. Oh, why didn't I just hop the fence from the beginning? I don't know why I didn't do that. All right, we're going to make our way out. We thought we would make our way north, but... Anyway, I don't know. I think I got the main thing I wanted out of this uh, playthrough. Are all high schools military complex? I mean, technically, we're just babysitting America's youth, aren't we? You know. No, that's a very negative... High school at its best can be very good things. Like, have you ever watched Breaking Bad? Look at how inspiring Walter White was to those children. Telling them about how chemistry is about change. What if Walter White just knew nothing about chemistry? Yeah, respect your... Uh, authority... Teacher. Now, teachers, de teachers deserve a lot more credit than they get. But, you know, it's not always individual... Alright, we're not gonna get into the, the flaws and and uh, merits of e the educational system now. This has already been enough of a massive shit post. We're not gonna get into that today. We're, well, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll make a separate stream. Uh, which way, really, though? I'm uh, the map. Damn it, no, I didn't want to zoom in on this map, this one. Here we go. Did anyone else getting this sudden urge to play PUBG? Oh, yeah. I think we're here. I believe we're here. And we gotta get to... Oh, we got the hunting club. So let's... Well, it'll be difficult to spot this on this part of the... Uh, that we may not actually be able to see it at all, but we'll get there. Because, see, this is a train crossing. Yeah, there we go. Walter White just read a book and went, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly right. Well, I did have a, te- a chem teacher in college. I started off uh, more on the sciences track. God damn it! He said supposedly it was very easy to to do those same things that Walter White did. Damn it. All right. Mm, on the road again. On the way to the... This is the hunt... Okay, that is a fairly clear road. Wait a second. Can we get a look at that sign just to make sure it says what I think it is? Yes, there we are. Knob Creek hunting. <laughs> Knob Creek. What, like doorknob? Like there was a door at the beginning of it? This is... Uh, I the drunk on life emotes. I like that. Ah, uh, God. I haven't talked... I haven't chatted with Leo in a little while. I mean, like, in person. In person. Yeah, I want to redo those uh, those good multiplayer games. My god, this is a... Okay, I called other things a vibe, but hang on a second. Sir, I'm going to escort you off of the premise. This lodge is too nice for... No! Don't do that, please. I can't even push through you. There we go. Okay, uh, hang on a second. All right, we gotta open this window because I don't want him to make a mess with the blood in the house. No, it will happen out here. Come away with me. To quote Nora jo why did I suddenly reference Nora Jones out of nowhere? Come away with me. <laughs> I waited till I saw the, uh, blood. Ah, oh, God, look at the goddamn visor. What a... Uh. Anytime you're wearing a visor and you're not playing tennis, you just know your life... Or drinking heavily, you know your life is just in the garbage. Oh, uh, yeah. No visors, club. Never urinate into... Why are you telling... Urinating into bleach creates mustard gas? Then why do they clean toilets with bleach? Come away with me. Yeah, stop singing. I like my singing voice more. Th ah! I faked that a little bit. At the beginning it was real and then at the end it wasn't. But that was the sound that would come out. Nah, only halfway. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. All right. Oh, look at the blood all over my rug. Is this a rug? It's a rug made in a pattern to look like planks of wood. A modern, uh. Wow. I bet you that this guy keeps his magic cards in this room. Look at how well protected it is. You think he has a black lotus in there? Oh, God. I got so into Magic the Gathering when I traveled. I was very alone when I moved. I didn't know anybody where I was moving to, so I just started playing, uh... I started going out to, like, a local gaming club. Then I started going to running clubs. Now I know more people than I can really... I I'm good. I'm good at making friends. I'm good at making friends, but, uh... Uh, it, it was pretty tough to start. So. Yeah, but got into Magic. It was good. First edition Power 9 set. Jesus Christ. Well, the fun part was, actually, Spiff was just in here a little while ago. He's played it. I just learned the other day that uh, my other friend, Mr. Sam Streamer, also has a cardboard addiction. So, or cardboard crack. Cardboard crack, as they say. Uh, it's a great game. Until it's not a great game. It's fun if you have a casual group of friends to play with. If you play with people who get too competitive at a club, it's not as much fun. I, a little bit of that started to, like, come over me when I'd played it a lot. Um... But yeah, you gotta find friends who are first and foremost into it. And it's also just expensive. It's expensive. A collection of 10,000 Stormcrows. I think it's fun. I, well, I was surprised to see that a lot of people liked it in, in my audience. But it, it kind of shows that you are to also two sommeliers. 
Sommeliers. For the most part, people are, uh, house key four, 420, 420, 420. Why so many number? Why so many number? Lemmy from the Indie Stone. Lemmy from the Indie Stone has decided on every random item spawn. Of course I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Oh my god, look at this closet! Wow, somebody really, uh, really rich must have lived here. Why would you need that much? God, look at the length of those boots! You could have worn some apple bottom jeans in those with the boots, with the fur. Why am I, why am I quoting this? Oh, I'm quoting that song because the other night I found this YouTube channel where the guy uses like some kind of machine to make it sound like Elvis Presley is singing apple bottom jeans. You know the, what, who sang that song originally? You know that's everybody knows that song. That's like the that's like the song. Mm. Boots with the fur. Okay, um Razor. I'm gonna have a Rick Grimes moment now, I think. Flo Rida. Yeah, Flo Rida sang it, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Aiming and reloading have come a long way. Okay. Mm. Health. Where do I get beard information? Actually, do I need to do it on the... Mm, where is my beard? Oh, there we are. Ponytail scruffy. Uh, right. I will see the, my face again. How, you could never make this happen with just a straight razor. Well, not a straight razor, but... Ah! Bald! 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 Uh, yes, that great classical compo composer, Flo Rida. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I have long hair and a beard, uh, or rather, no beard now. A neared. I think I could sleep in here, right? Come away with me. Why? Why is bald? Bald. <laughs> All right, it, it, did the music? Have I even had on the music the whole time, or have I just been vibing to the sound of my own? I have. Well, no, I've not. I've not. I have got some red on you. Oh, what is that? A Shaun of the Dead reference? Yeah, yeah. You're just going to go to the Winchester. Winchester. I should have referenced that earlier. This this place is a vibe, though. We've chatted about several vibes, which may perhaps not have been vibes necessarily. This one is. I'm going to clean. Well, I'm going to wash myself. Let's do all of this. Look at this photograph. Every time, uh, what are we? What am I even doing? Uh, why am I? Why am I singing that? <laughs> you ever just sing bad, bad stuff? Nah, it's not that bad. It just kind of became a meme to hate on Nickelback. Uh, somehow now I can wash all my clothing. Where were you? Where are you now, clothing? All right. I feel rested. We rested. Uh, what else do we need to do? I'm going to eat an entire can of oats because screw it. I'm going to be a fat for the rest of my life. But if eating a whole can of oatmeal gets you fat, I don't think it's worth it to be thin. You know. Mm, playing music the whole time. Uh, nah, it's all the soundtrack music. Well, I, I do have, what is it, the Epidemic Sounds thing. Now this is a little awkward. There we go. Alright, I guess let's just make more natural sounds. Hmm. 50 BMG. I feel like I, I don't really feel like I'm gonna need a lot of weapons where we're going. I think I'm just gonna go back. I wanna prove to myself that I can actually make it back to the original area. You know what I mean? Like that was the quest for validation in this playthrough. 
Yeah, I, well, I eat all of my oatmeal directly out of the can. Now, the thing is that if you subject yourself to torture when you're eating, it makes regular eating more important and enjoyable. Now, unfortunately, we didn't find the other components of the Erie County map, or rather, Erie Country map. Um, but it's, uh, you know, I actually like that because he's, Atox has made everything in this country, um, like kind of a, a hunt. You know, it's very hard to look through. It's very, uh, brambly and cavernous, labyrinthine and, um, uh, ah! there we are. We're good. Uh, that was a rather unpleasant scream, wasn't it? I, oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, we have directions to not anywhere that we're going. Is it Hasia that's ahead? Hang on a second, let me check the map while we're in motion. Which you shouldn't do while you're driving. Alright, I, I think that the map... The, the weird part about this is that you have, like, main roads, and then you have a map edge right next to the main road, you know? There we go. Alright, we're just gonna go up, because up is the right way to go. Uh, will I crash? Will I crash? <laughs> Do you think anybody just drives like that? Will I crash? Probably the best thing that you can say out loud to avoid making yourself crash. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, you gotta do something. Will I crash after he hits three? Ah, uh, wait a second. Oh, there's all these contradictory signs. Oh, is everything's in Spanish. Auto pasta. Oh no, Auto Pista. Irvington City. Some of them are in Spanish and some of them are in English. What is that? Hasi. Oh, Muldra. There it is. Muldra. Okay. We made it. We did it. Oh god, this doesn't make any sense. I will. Tr I will go with my mind into the void. Wait a second. Did you see that? Look at this. <laughs> I will not crash. I will just ascend. This is something else now. Where do you think we're going to go from here? I am entering the void. I mean, you have now entered the twilight zone. Am I using up gas? Alright, let's get out of there. That was... I wonder if he's actually added Muldra into this part. That is a little concerning. Okay, we might have to drive. My god, that one was accidental. It's because I wasn't saying aloud, will I crash? Keep going right and take the next major left, not the side. Ah, uh, so I'm guessing that this is the part of the map. It, this is what I was chatting about before, how Atox hasn't actually added. Ah, uh, here we are. Okay, uh, Zona Industrial. Okay, here we go. I don't actually have the eerie map in front of me, but that's okay, because I won't crash. Here we are. Good, good. We'll just go at full speed into this. Also, the void. Okay. Damn it. Oh, like switching our phone. No, I didn't switch the language on my computer to Spanish. Though I know that technique. I had a, a colleague who was trying to learn Spanish. So he switched his phone to Spanish. Uh, I went the extra mile because I, I was trying to outdo him because I'm very insecure. And I labeled everything in my house in Spanish. Uh, I don't know why. There wasn't any particular reason. It was during uh, 2020 and I had nothing to do and I was stuck in my house. So it was good. My car has stalled. All right, it is done stalling. Thank you, car. I we take as much time as you need, car, but not later on. The fun part is you got to think in that language if you got to if you're trying to learn. All right, let's go into full speed again into the Nether. Here we are. That's what they got to add to Project Zomboid is a Nether. Hey, it's Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jansen. How are you?
All right, here we are back at the place. Great to be here again. We have Zona Industrial. Uh, we have train tracks. But those aren't road tracks. <laughs> so I think no. Man, I haven't talked for this long in a while. I'm like, uh, I'm like coughing, but I'm, I'm good. I don't know why. Right. I'm a, uh, oh, that car looks like mine. It crashed because he didn't say I will not crash. I will not. <laughs> Probably the most menacing thing that you could say with your friends in the car. I will not crash. Oh, uh, what? I'm being honest. I'm like George Washington. Can't tell a lie. Well, except that George Washington did tell a lie, and that's that's not even a true story. Why do they tell that story? Who made that up? Probably somebody teaching that uh, that high school we saw back there. Uh, see, now this is crazy because look, we just ha saw lack of Earth back there, and now here we are again on Earth. Though these street lights are making me nervous. Oh, wait a second. Why is there so much fence? Probably because he doesn't want us to go there. I don't know what that is. Damn it. Shouldn't have turned. Never played 40, but what I've heard... Yeah, 41 is a good... Well, the fun part is that you could go back and play earlier versions of Project Zomboid. Damn it, the car stalled out again. It's just going. This did actually happen to my dad once, supposedly. He had to roll a car down a hill to a gas station. Can you imagine the balls it would have taken to roll your car down a hill? I believe that was in, like, somewhere very remote. It wasn't in the middle of a city. Either that or my father has just been lying to me for years. Oh, God, it's completely stalled now. Here we go. Here we go. Will it continue? Wait, this would be a very bad place to completely stall out. Ah, uh, it's back on. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm exiting. I had to. I did what I had to do. <laughs> I've never had a car do that in the game. Where I just totally stalled out. Like, I've had it give up suddenly, but not like, oh, I think I'm going to give out. Oh, I changed my mind. I think I'm back. Great food with Troopin. Oh, Troopin. The Troopin video is fun. Oh, the one with uh, us and, and uh, Newbert and Spiff, right? That was fun to do. Just purely for fun. Pure, purely for fun. Hoping we can get in more of that kind of stuff with Project Zomboid multiplayer, but uh, Ghoul and I are going to try to get something together, as as he said before. Uh, just chatting with a few other folks. Some people I've never actually done videos before that you will uh, hopefully will, will see in uh, videos in the future, you know? Because that's what we make here on YouTube. Uh, we're not on YouTube, we're on Twitch, but it, wherever we are, this will probably be on some future platform when uh, the world's been destroyed by invading aliens. All right, what have we got here? This appears to be... What the hell is this? My God, he went to the effort of making a diagonal fence. I know I left a lot of good stuff in there, but I'm I'm getting to the end of my goal. Hey, Sean, Fallen Sugar, what's up, brother? Yeah, I don't make videos. I just talk and accidentally press record and then accidentally edit the video. Mm, the woods. The woods have got the goods. The woods are full of uh, dudes. That didn't completely rhyme, but it, don't question it. Um, oh... Look, a bathroom! Oh, wait a minute, is this one of those tall buildings? Oh, God, I love tall buildings! Easy Pass really ruined the the subtle culture of the toll collector. Yes, here we are, in... See, I'm saying, I've been saying this for a long time. We gotta get back these toll collectors, you know? Hoods, yeah, hoods would have rhymed. Um, hmm. My god, that car just wants to be up so much. Look at it. We could help it out. Yeah, let's see if we can get into this car. 
Wow, look at that. Ah, come on, come on, let me in. There it is. Of course I can get into- no, it doesn't make any sense. Be neat if there were a little bit more physics in the game, though. Alright, let's see how far we are from town now. How now? Town? Oh, uh, we gotta... Hang on, we gotta do normal walking. Come away with me. Hey, Jurate Juratesen, thanks very much for that other gift sub. Much appreciated, my friend. And Super Tech Boy and J-Mac, thanks for the, for the sub and the gift sub. Maybe you'll come away with me. What if I just walked into that? I don't know, I've, I've lost the willpower for Eerie Country. I feel like it's... It gave me what I needed. I got to that place, I was building up a base, but then the issue with it is that there... And I'm kind of curious as to how this is going to be navigated in multiplayer, and this is why I want to get together like a posse, because it's so hard to transport weapons. However, on the other hand, too, I don't really try that hard. And sometimes I'll meet people in games who will bend over backwards, are really nice people, but I'm just like... I didn't feel like I earned any of this. You know, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to spend a lot of time streaming multiplayer when it comes out, but... The issue with multiplayer is that sometimes you'll be walking down a street just like this, literally just walking, and then you'll just get shot. Just get shot. Hey, Dran and Andermus, hey, thank you very much for those five gift subs. Much appreciated, my friend. Oh, and Samson Corpus for the sub. Uh, and uh, Dran and Andermus, that's quite a lot of gift subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Shout out to the Easy Pass. Uh, toll bridge in Richmond, Virginia that I passed through on the way here. Yeah. Alright, I think we're- this is looking suspiciously like Muldraw. Does it- I mean, it looks like we're in Muldraw now, don't you think? I believe that- I know when I'm back. I know when I'm back. I'm also carless now, as it happens. I would have been better off in the other place, but I felt like the goal of this series was to get- Let's get back to something recognizable in, uh... Muldra, and then we'll call it. A oh my God! Look, an intersection. Where could this lead to? Dear God, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hey, Sod Yaler! Hey, thank you very much for those five gift subs. Oh, you're, you're really a, you're really one in a million. You're really one in a million, Sod Yaler. I like, I like it because it reminds me of Sod Layer. But it reminds me of, like, yodeling. So I'm thinking of a sod layer who is yodeling, and that is a, a particularly gruesome image. A brute image, Amiri Baraka might say. Oh. Oh, wowzers. And River's End, thank you very much for the thousand bits. Oh, you are one in a... In a... Um, you're, I mean, you're a pea in a pod. But without the bleach. Without the bleach. You are a pea in a pod. I might be in that pod with you. Oh, no, I, I'm not even worthy to unlace the the pod of that pea. One in a million means there's 7,000 of you. Out there? Oh, what? The, the world's population? Actually, you're right. Very good math. Excellent math. I have, might have a position at my bank I'm going to need to hire you for. I mean, I don't own a bank. Of course not. Of course not. Aren't I near March Ridge in Rosewood? I think I am nearer to March Ridge in Woes Woeswood. <laughs> you ever just involuntarily get a speech impediment when you're talking too fast? Dear God. I wish that wouldn't happen. It's really reduced my credibility. If you just start doing that. You ever do that in an interview? But I want to go in one direction. Because I'm trying to meet Zane. Trying to meet Zane and Harry Style. Harry Style. Yeah. I know a lot of a lot of young women. You know, that's why I spend so much time thinking about about Harry and Zane. Didn't they break up though? I'm still hearing about that. Still hearing and now about I that. present the song from the fifth element. Ah. Ah ah ah. Ah 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 ah. Ah ah. ah, ah. Ha 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 
That was actually great. Wow, well done. Hey, thank you very much. River's End, Jesus Christ, with the other thousand bits. Oh, that was one of the best TTSs. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. I might even play Tabletop Simulator after hearing that text to speech just to go the full nine yards with both of those acronyms. Wowzers. That was great. Hey, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Thank you. Thank you, Triple G. And River's End, my God, hang on a second. I'm going to need to just pause at the end of the stream. That's You've been very kind to me. Hang on a moment. I may die of hypothermia. I am going to be heading out in a bit. I actually do have to get the, the turkey prepared. But uh, we're going to make our way back to civilization. Civilization. Hey, it's Lime. Love that game to bits. Wonderful atmosphere to be had in it. Wait, which one was that? What was I just talking about? I'm here to play. I want to know what we're talking about, too. I don't want to be left out of the conversation in my own... What are, what are we talking about, John? Turkey sucks, man. Fuck turkey all my... You say fuck turkey, I say fuck you. No, I'm just giving you... Uh, uh, but why don't you like turkey? Unless if you're against the... Um, the forced killing of all animals everywhere, which is what we're doing in the West right now, basically. Dankwood. Oh, Darkwood. Oh, Darkwood looks very good, yeah. Yeah, that is a good one. Or a good-looking one. <sighs> Call me Ishmael. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Starshine. It was a pleasure to burn. It's a matter of altitude or practitude. In my younger and more vulnerable years, I have arrived at Nirvana. Wowzers. What do you know? We did it. We did our goal. Oh my god. We should sing the congratulations song or something. Wow, look at the size of that beef stroganoff. I mean jerky in my hand. My god, look at how look at how it sits in between my fingers as I chew oh god that makes me want to eat i am actually rather hungry right now i think i'm going to i think i'm going to go in the bathroom and uh, this isn't a bathroom at all all right well i think i'd ah uh, hang on a second i know exactly where i'm going right now i'm gonna sit i'm gonna have a sit down for a moment we're gonna we could sleep on the ground but i think that would be ill-advised because the uh well, actually, one of the great buildings in Project Zomboid is right over here. Yeah, you know where we're going. We're going to Twiggy's Pub. No, Twiggy's Pub. Here we are. Great to be here in a nearby Twiggy's Pub. I think we'll we'll call it there once we get there. That is... Actually, we made it through Eerie. It's a good feeling. It's a good feel. Oh, there it is. I almost completely missed it. Here we are in Twiggy's Pub. I work here, in fact. Sometimes there's people trying to have a good time in the pub. This guy was having such a good time that he had to tie up his face. There we are. Just to contain the amount of fun so that the fun wouldn't slip out of his mouth or nose or ears onto other people. That would have been very rude. Oh dear god. All of the goo. Someone is attempting to get out of the bathroom. It smells awful. Uh, hey, Scritney, thank you very much for the sub. Yes. Lumber down with lumberjacks, quite literally. Into the toilet with this man. Into the toilet. Hey, Gerate Gerates, and thank you very much for giving Hazard Rob. Hazard Rob, we share a name. Gerate Gerates, and thanks very much for this, for gifting this up. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Ah. My legs have turned green, and my soul has turned uh, black from just not really paying much attention to my internal life. The tranquil river of my spirit will go on. Uh, actually, that sounded like uh, 
a knockoff of Celine Dion's hit. Well, on that I'm note. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I cut down trees. I eat my lunch. I go to the lavatory on Wednesdays. I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. <laughs> the lavatory. <laughs> on that completely lumberjacky in note. Hey, Triple G, thanks very much for those 300 bits and all the all the po all the beautiful poetry. I'm going to give you a, a couple of golf claps right here. I don't know if you could hear those over the over the microphone, but I'm giving them right now. I touched my hands together for you. So uh but thank thank you very much for the three <laughs> What I am full of shit. Thank you very much for the 300 bits. I do appreciate that. This is my favorite window. All right. I think we're I think we're going to call it there. I'm uh I guess in summation, well, thanks folks for coming out to the, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up in a bit, but uh, I guess to end the the series, I know this is kind of a cliffhanger. We could really go on from here, but to be honest with you, I want to kind of put Project Zomboid at least as a single player endeavor away for a while. I've played a lot of single player PZ. I might come out with another video on it in a, in a uh, bit because I want to do a little bit more before the release and I think it's fun. But I, I think with multiplayer coming out in a bit, I don't want to do any big single-player adventures. I'll do some more multiplayer segments with some friends. We're going to be doing some good stuff, I think, here on Twitch for a while. Uh, and we'll put it out onto the YouTube. We're going to be doing... Uh, I Actually, I guess I will just kind of go through what, it, what, it, what my hopes and plans are to do on it. Um, 